Two people are dead and 10 others missing after flooding in the Austin area. High water was seen in downtown Austin in Shoal Creek leading towards Lady Bird Lake. City officials have banned the use of waterways and lakes there until Monday. Multiple roads in Travis and Williamson counties were impassable earlier because of water. President Trump says he is working with Governor Abbott on getting federal aid to Texas. The president also commenting on the floods last night while aboard Air Force One. Oh, it's terrible, the floods. It's uh, shocking. They don't know the answer yet as to how many people, but it looks like some young people have died. Oh, yeah, sure. we'll take care of it. We're working. We're working with the governor. We're working with the governor. It's a terrible thing. So Fox 4 meteorologist Dylan Federico is here with me at the desk and we want to talk a little bit about this to put it into perspective for the viewers. Dylan did a little bit of research. I cannot believe how much water fell. Listen to this. Yeah, so uh, there, there's several things I just want to run through highlight wise. So uh, if you could take my graphics full, uh, just want to start off with this is directly from the remnants of Tropical Storm Barry. So that remnant moisture came into Texas over the past couple of days, and that's the primary driver to what caused this flood. Now, over four months worth of rain fell in just a matter of hours uh, in the Carryville area that led to a 27 foot wall of water that went down the Guadalupe River. Uh, and because of that, we have 32 confirmed deaths and 27 still missing at the moment. But just to put into some perspective of how much water that is, 3 trillion gallons of water went down the Guadalupe River. Hmm. That is the amount of water used in every home in the United States in a year. Okay, 1.5 million Olympic sized pools and that's over one and a half months of water flow at Niagara Falls. So I just hmm. want people to have a little bit of perspective of how much water went down this river in just a matter of minutes and you know, the other thing is when you look at before and after pictures, th the river looked like a pretty small stream and, and, and just turned into this just you know, massive flooded river. So it's just it's just really tragic, you know, what happened down there. But I just wanted to give some perspective of how much water went down that river in just a short period of time.